in Chinatown boom, they're flooding the area. Mm -hmm. They're buying up properties that they don't even know what they're going to do with. I know this firsthand. And I'm talking about I'm talking about companies coming out of Hong Kong with assets in real estate that are in the 20, 30, and 40 billion dollar range because they're not buying up in the cities anymore because the prices are too high, so they're going out to the outskirts because the bubble has hit already in China. We're going up for a crash that's far worse than the panic of 08. Everything is in place. You look again, as you well reported with these phony numbers that came out, and again, this is coming out from the government, so you know they're even underestimating it. Matter of fact, there's an article today by Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. I think it was on your site, uh, having some of the facts there about how the Clinton administration put in these phony numbers so we're not really looking at the right inflation rate. Mm -hmm. So when you add all this together, the, infl the GDP numbers are much worse than what they're putting out. Well, you know, as you pointed out, they, we don't have these things called savings accounts anymore because they really don't want Americans to own anything. They want an elite few to own everything, whether it's our cars, our transportation, our homes, our real estate. And as you, as you point out, there's been a panic from the Chinese trying to move their, their fiat currency into some real hard assets. But that's, that's coming to an end now, isn't it? Yes, but they're buying up in the states mm -hmm. because they have to put their money someplace and you have the bubble over there. And again, all things are connected. That's you right. Know, it's, it's, it, because when all else fails, they take you to war. Yes, and that's the key thing. <laughs> Very that, interesting today. That's what I want to talk to you about in the long segment. But of course, you know, there's also the economic, one of these articles that we've got up today about the economy on Infowars.com is from Max Slavo. And he's quoting from uh, some economists who said that the inventory drawdowns took down 1.7% from GDP number because companies don't build inventories if they don't have anybody to buy it. And people aren't buying it because they're losing their jobs because they're too expensive, especially at the low end because of health care mandates. But it's going to get much worse, uh, Gerald, isn't it? Because we're going to see a lot of people losing their jobs to automation. I was talking about the transportation industry, how they're looking at three to five years out having self-driving cars, well, there go the taxi drivers, there go the UPS drivers, there go the long-term truck drivers. They're going to be replaced by metal cans. It's not the Mexicans, it's the metal cans, isn't it? Well, yeah, and it, it's even worse than that. There goes your life, too. I mean, really, they can't fix it. You can't get the ignition switch <laughs> right. You know, exactly. really, not for nothing. Exactly. How many, you know, how many tens of thousands of millions, <laughs> millions and millions of automobiles are they, are they recalling? Oh, yeah, now we're going to have a perfect one that could drive itself. You know who the cars have been designed by? Geeks and video game freaks. That's all they are. But and what's going to happen, Gerald, is what's going to happen is when these things fail, it's going to be quietly ignored by the media. And then, of course, the corporations will pay massive amounts to the families in order to cover up the fact that their car drove them into a wall or drove them <laughs> off of a bridge or whatever, whatever the mode of failure. I mean, we've seen that with the uh, rapid acceleration of cars from multiple automobile manufacturers. That's pretty much been kept quiet. Not a lot has been said about that. And we know that as they take over, there's going to be failures because, of course, these cars and these computer programs, these map apps, they're all being done by humans. So you're not going to eliminate human error. You're just going to transfer it to another place. Exactly. Look, again, the ignition problem. Look how they covered it up with General Motors, the company that we bailed out. Yeah. Again, merger of state and corporate powers, fascism. Look at they can't get the airbag problem fixed. And they're going to have a self-driving car. I mean, there are a lot of people with a real bad attitude, man. They, they, this, this whole Silicon Valley. Silicon, man, the con is perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's all it is. It's one big con. Hey, look how smart smartphones have made everybody. You <laughs> know, right. this is another lie, a big technological boost for the people that are making the dough. And all it's going to do is to make a bad situation much worse. Again, 
Look at the recall numbers. That's right. We're going to come back right after the break. I want to talk to you briefly about this uh, book and possible film in the spirit of ZZ in the short segment. In the long segment, I want you to tell us about where you see the final war going and where it's coming from. Stay with us. 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten-free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day, 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider the abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your wooden door frames are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the door sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with a door sentinel. Protect your home now at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com for a special limited time offer. The door sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we have on the phone with us Gerald Salenti. And we've just been talking about his economic forecasts in this short segment. Gerald, I want to talk to you about this uh, book and film that you've got, uh, What ZZ Gave Honey Boy. I just saw Jersey Boys over the weekend with my wife, and um, 
I thought it was interesting in the story where at one point Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons realized that one of the group members has essentially sold the group out to the mob, that they're massively in debt to the mob. I, I thought that's kind of an analogy for America, isn't it? Uh, yeah. But I'd like to hear your take because your take is, uh, as you subtitle it here, a true story about love, wisdom, and the soul of America. I'd like to see that film. Well, here's the book. And right. of everything I've ever written, David, and I've written a lot of stuff over the last, you know, 35 years. This is my favorite. And Zidzi, Zia is the, um, in Italian, that's aunt. And Zidzi is your auntie. Oh, okay. And she was my aunt. And I used to visit her all the time. And in, in, I was going through a divorce. It was, her husband just died. And we used to play Scrabble all the time. And one day, she used to cook for me like all Italian women do. She could hardly walk. I go, I'm coming back from the city, and, and the, the sink is filled up with pots and pans. You know, she came, used to not only cook for me when I was there, but enough for me to take home for a week. And I start washing the dishes. She says, sit down. She says, you're my guest. I said, Dizzy, I, let me, let me, I'm cleaning the dishes. And she said to me, you know, Gerald, I listened to the news all day yesterday. What a bunch of, of begins with an S. They must think we're all morons. I stopped what I was doing and I wrote that, those words down. <laughs> In three months, I wrote this book. And I used to call every time I wrote a couple of uh, pages. And it was what this country used to be. How her and her husband, they had, a, they had a butcher's shop in the Bronx. And how they were able to buy a lovely home in the nice section of Yonkers how the family used to be there, how there was, op when this was truly the land of opportunity. And she used to tell me, my grandfather, may he so rest in peace. So, you know, your grandfather, when he came from Italy, was so proud to be an American. He was the first person on line on the, in the voting, on the voting booth. This is on the east side of New York, the upper east side. And she said, now, you know, they call me up and they say, Mrs. Volan, Honey, you know, the, 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 the Democratic Party, she's a Democrat, can we pick you up to go vote? She said, you know what you could do? You could pick me up to go shopping. I can't get out. <laughs> so I wouldn't vote for any of you crooks. Yeah. And, and we started going back and forth about what life used to be in America and what it's become. The criminal operations, the immorality that they could even have a thing where they could justify killing people suspected terrorists with drones where they could take us to war for lies outright lies and then put up that little guy that little guy with a bad attitude the vice president of the united states cheney mm -hmm. and keep spewing out his lies and there's no dignity anymore there's no respect there's lack of courage so this book is about when it used to be and how to get it back and this this is an independent film. People are just doing this that read the book. So anybody that wants to help this film, by the way, Doris Roberts, the woman who played uh, uh, Everybody Loves Raymond, she's going to be playing Zidzi. And she's the perfect person for it. That's and great. the website is zidziandhoneyboy.com. And it's an independent film, and they're, they're shooting it now. Doris Roberts has signed up. So anybody that wants to help, Bring Zizzy back to life. And boy, do we need her now. Please That's great. do what you can do. You know, Gerald, yeah, I, I, as I've told you in the past, my wife is uh, part Italian and from New York. And so I know a lot of people that came over as immigrants. They came over because they loved America. And in many cases, uh, unlike people like, first time I, I met my wife, she, she said, uh, you know, what nationality are you? And I said, I'm an American. And she said, yeah, funny. No, where, where are your people from? It's like, well, America. I mean, they've been here for hundreds of years. So I don't have any recollection of that. But, you know, in many cases, the people who came over and, and realized what they were leaving saw what tyranny was about, whether they were in uh, East Germany or some other place, and they realized the control that government had over their lives when they tasted freedom. They they appreciated it and they loved it more in America than they did elsewhere. But I'm very concerned about the demographic surge that we see with illegal aliens just opening up the border and collapsing them and bringing them in at such young ages.
and in such numbers that it's not a melting pot anymore. No, it's not that the whole country's been destroyed yeah. by the by the bloods and the crips. Yeah, yeah, and that's what's coming across the border. Yeah, no, There's no, a the lot bloods, of criminals. Hang on, we're going to be the right bloods, back. The crips. Okay. Hang on, we're going to be right back after the break, and we're going to talk about Washington's final drive for final war. That's out of the Trends Journal. We'll be right back with Gerald Salenti. We're on the march. The Empire.